Hi guys, I am a 2020 pandemic season bride and as apocalyptic as that sounds, in this video I will be sharing advice with couples who are planning their wedding later this year and this advice comes from talking to various industry experts, wedding industry experts especially. So this advice is going to help you not freak out whether you're planning to postpone your wedding or you're planning to have one of those cute little backyard Pinterest type weddings or also one of those Zoom or other virtual weddings. So stay tuned and keep watching. I am Disha and welcome to Alter Answers. This super cool page we created because I have a problem with asking too many questions and not enough friends to answer them. So that is why we created this channel so that we can find answers to all of your questions as well. What is God? Okay, maybe not all of them. I got engaged last year and my 2020 began like a love story, which has now changed into a thriller horror. Thanks to Corona. So, I decided to talk to my fiancé and see if he has the answers. Arjun. 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 Since my better half loves to maintain social distance from our wedding related problems, I realized I'll have to find the answers myself. So I went and found all the wedding industry experts I could find and spoke to them just for you. So, my dear pandemic brides and grooms, we have to find a better word than that. What is the next big word in the world of weddings? Travel! There are so many questions about travel that I had to find someone super experienced in the wedding related travel industry. So the first question I received is, I am a 2020 wedding guest and the wedding is not in my country. Now should I book tickets or should I wait? Honestly, I'm in a very similar situation because both my sister and my sister-in-law to be have to fly in from different countries to my wedding in November and I simply don't know what to do. So to answer this question, I have with me Vatika Pai of Nirmala Travels and Vatika International, which has been in the industry for 70 years. So with this experience, let's go right to Vatika and see what she has to say. Hello everyone, I'm Vatika Pai. I'm a travel agent and I'm here to answer a few questions of yours regarding travel in the future. Since you are a guest, I think the best thing to do would be to wait because you don't know if the wedding is actually going to take place considering the fact that Corona is on the rise and we don't know when it's going to be controlled. So I suggest you wait for a while and then decide when it's close to the wedding date. Well, fair enough. One more thing I might add is that if you book your tickets now, if they are available for booking, you might end up paying twice or thrice the amount. So I suggest that you wait and you might even get some special deals and offers from the airline. Bonus advice! So Deepa and Deepu, I am not kidding, those are the actual names. You might want to wait a little after September and then see how it goes. So the next question I've received is an important one. What happens to my payments, the advance payments or the full payments that I have made to the airlines for my tickets or to my travel agent? So do I get a refund or what happens exactly? So Vatika? Again, uh, if your travel was anytime during this lockdown period uh, and when the flights are not operating, uh, you can definitely uh, get a refund. The airlines will, uh, once you cancel your tickets, the amount will come back to your, come back as a credit, which can be used by you later in the year. Um, if you've made full payments to your travel agents, I suggest you talk to them too, because most hotels and resorts are also letting you adjust for another one year or they will refund your amount. So the best thing to do would be to talk to your travel agent. So as a travel agent myself, what we're doing is, uh, for the amount that's being paid to us, we are letting our uh, uh, esteemed customers adjust that amount for the next one year. And for those who do not want to travel anytime in the future, we are giving them a full refund. So I really suggest you talk to your travel agent and sort that out. That's great news. That means all you have to do is pick up your phone or email your airlines and your travel agent and get this mess sorted out right away so that you don't have to stress about your payments. That's great, isn't it? Well, the next question that I have received is about honeymoon. So the question is that I have booked my honeymoon package in Thailand for the month of September and I already made a full payment to my travel agent. So what do I do about that? Should I keep my plans or cancel them altogether? 
Since your honeymoon is in the month of September, I suggest you wait till July and then decide if you want to really uh, go forward because we do not know what Corona is bringing to us. So you could take a call in the month of July because if Corona continues and if the lockdown continues, then the flights will indefinitely cancel your uh, cancel and they will refund the amount to you, to your credit. And with regard to the package amount, I suggest you talk to your travel agents so even that should be adjustable. For any which way, I think it's best to do is to wait till July and then take a call. So basically, all you couples out there stuck in this coronavirus pandemic, do not fret until you talk to your airlines and agents. Like Vatika said, everyone is going to want you to travel with them. So they are going to make adjustments so that you don't lose money on it as well. So just talk to them, wait, tell them to hold your money and wait till you get your confirmation on the dates and then go from there. Thank you so much, Vatika, for all these helpful answers you have given us. Guys, if you have very specific questions related to travel, please write down your questions in the comments below. And I will promise you that I'm going to try to get them answered for you from the right people. And while you're lingering in the comments, there is a button over there that says subscribe. So do not forget to hit the subscribe button, okay? Don't feel shy and all. Like really, don't be shy. So guys, that's all I have for right now. If you like my video, if you like the answers I brought you, then like this video aka me subscribe to altered answers compliment me in the comments and tell your friends about me oh no stop <laughs> if i didn't answer all of your questions then what are you waiting for write your questions in the comments below i promise i will try to get them answered so stay tuned and keep watching